something really basic. The number of, of spots that are available, the number of people who want that spot. That's what makes something competitive in general. There are specific specialties that don't have a lot of spots. And so historically, people will look at ophthalmology, dermatology, urology, ENT, neurosurgery, orthopedics, and they might say, oh, those are the competitive specialties. Well, they are because there's not a lot of spots. A lot of people want those, those specialties. But each year it changes with the number of people who want something versus the number of spots that are available. That's what makes something competitive. That's a really great question. It's always important to know yourself and to know what matters to you, know, to know what you value. So you start with thinking about what do I want out of my career? How do I want it to fit into my life? What matters to me? What do I like clinically? What pop patient population do I like? And once you can frame yourself with a career goal, then you can identify the residency pathways that can get you to there. Because for most career paths, there's more than one residency specialty that can get you to that career goal. Students apply for residencies during the September of their fourth year. During their third year, they're making decisions. So what you can do as an incoming medical student, and primarily during your first and second year, is take advantage of every opportunity to learn as much as you can about every career path option that exists in medicine. Get involved with the clubs and organizations, go to the workshops, learn what you can. Get rid of some of the biases or stereotypes you think you have about a particular career path. Learn so that when you're a third year and you're actually on those clinical rotations and you're spending the weeks in that environment, you can really confirm whether this is what you want or what you don't want. So learn, be open-minded, um, and be the best you can be.